Hi, it's uh, July 22nd, Wednesday 2020 and 2020 has been a funny year and <laughs> it's now started with the tropical depression coming across and hitting us. Hopefully it's going to die down but uh, it's going to hit right over the top of us uh, on Saturday, the, we believe Saturday morning. So Kim and I are just making plans, seeing what we're going to be doing. I'll just show you on over here. We are there, that little dot there. And that means it's coming straight for us. So, so that's coming straight across us. So the S means tropical storm. That's 39 miles an hour up until 70 miles an hour. There is some models are saying it's gonna go to a cat one. One model saying it's gonna be a cat two, but I don't believe that. Um, it looks like it's gonna build up, get stronger over the next 24, 36 hours. And um, then it will hopefully die down and get beaten up by some of the trade winds which are coming from the north and hitting it. So fingers, fingers crossed that's what's going to happen. But uh, just keep uh, fingers crossed for everybody. So what are we doing to prepare? We're here in the far blue. We're going to try and stay here if we can depending on how bad the wind and the storms. But the problem here is the swell because it can come round. And because it's a floating dock, it, we might be starting to, to do a bit too much of this. So we've got two or three places we can go and anchor and we'll just get out of here. I've had a look at the uh, copper coat bottom and it's scraping off lovely even after we've been here for three months. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow morning, I'm going to go down with uh, some air and give it a good clean, make sure the props all clean I have been running the engine every 10 days that we've been stationary so I know that that's okay uh, we're gonna fill up with water and uh, if we have to go and sit out and keep on anchor holy smokes look how oh my god look how many more boats are in there jeez do you think they've gotten in there early because of yeah. the storm yeah that's incredible well, there's normally no boats in there yeah but all the well they've put all the yacht the uh, charter yachts in there and it's starting to fill up so this is a very well-known um, hurricane hole yeah but we know another one which is smaller and hardly anyone knows about that one but we can't say anything about it can no. we so we're coming up to the Benji Bay Woburn Bay which is like kind of right behind us the next bay's over and it really is spectacular uh, there's quite a few boats down there. It's probably there. half as many boats. Yeah, there's a lot of boats here right now. So here's more of the boats. There's just so many out there. And we're just over to the left there from that island you see in the distance. And this brings you down into Woburn. There's Clark's Court boatyard there. There's lots of boats here in quarantine and they're doing their 14 days and because of this storm which is now being named it's Gonzalo is now on its way and we are ground zero for it they have said that everyone can go in today and get tested um, the PCR test and, and then if they get positive then they can go for a blood test which takes about 12 hours I think they were saying and as long as they come up negative, they're allowed to go somewhere else and anchor and where, wherever they feel more safe. Because I would not want to be there in this anchorage. That's probably the worst place to be, purely because the holding for the anchor isn't very good. So uh, my ag and the Grenada government have come to an agreement so they can move. But I believe, you know, if they've only been there four or five days or a week, they have to, after the storm's gone through, they have to go back again, re-anchor in there, and then get the test after 14 days. That's what I believe to be done. Today we're heading over to uh, another marina because we're helping uh, one of our friends has a boat here, and um, he's been trying to get back to Grenada, but with all the COVID, he hasn't been able to come back. So we've been going for him and helping to charge his batteries and. Um, you know, just make sure the boat is okay, make sure that there's no water getting in. And it's
it's on the hard. So, um, what we did yesterday was we hooked up the batteries and we're charging them. And with the storm coming, we're gonna now go back today and uh, make sure the batteries are all fully charged. And then we're going to uh, close up the boat and um, and to make sure that's all done and dusted so that we can go back to Britikin and uh, take down the canvas, clean the barnacles off uh, the intakes and all that fun stuff. So at least uh, it's given us something to do, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Never a dull moment. I rather I hope we weren't gonna have to do it. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. At eight o'clock this morning it was potentially a depression building up a little bit, gonna be a bit of winds, and then peter out and it was gonna be nothing. It's now four o'clock and it's now a big tropical storm and it's tonight it's going into a hurricane. So this is how quickly things can change. Yeah. So we are thinking, what are we going to do? So we are in Lafar Blue, and it's a little bit, it's a brilliant marina, love it to bits, don't want to be anywhere else, but I don't want to be in a storm or a potential hurricane in there, no. So we've decided to move, haven't we Kim, where are we going? Yeah, so we're going to come round to Port Louis Marina, which is, um, it's like the main marina here, it's huge, it's very well protected. It, apparently it can handle a category two hurricane. So um, we've got a lot of other friends that are on boats that are going to do that. If you just look around here, the bays are jam packed. Um, even just on a windy day, there's a boat that often comes off its, you know, mooring or something. So uh, we've heard that some people are saying, you know, it could be a category one, even a two that is possible. I guess it's always possible. It's just really hard because I keep telling Simon, I'm not going to get scared. No. I am not going to get scared. I am not going to get stressed. We're not. And I don't think we are compared to what we were for all the others. But, you know, it's still a scary thing. Yeah. So now we're heading back to the boat because we, um, we did some stuff for our friend. We had a nice little lunch. And it's very calm here. There's absolutely no wind at all. No um, panic buying. No panic boarding up. Yeah, nobody panic buys here, which I was commenting to Simon. Like nobody, I don't even think they think about doing that. No. And what we want to make clear is that possibly I wouldn't go into a marina because I'd go anchor into a into a bay. The situation is in Grenada at the moment there is about 500 boats here that would normally be out on the hard that are in the anchorages. Yeah. So there is no room to go now where it, it, it's not where it's safe uh, well even I mean if you looked at the anchorages like a lot of the boats are empty too so I, I predict it's gonna be quite a, quite a uh, mess yeah. if uh, if it's a lot of wind so um, but let's hope that it forms it is forming into a hurricane let's hope it forms into a tropical storm before it actually gets to us yeah, it, it, it downgrades. Do, it? Yeah. right now it's they're saying it's going to downgrade so we're just going to be as safe as possible and we've analyzed all of our options and for this time we feel like the marina is actually it, you know it's funny because um, we're usually leaving a marina um, but we're going into a marina that's built for a Cat 2 standard. Yeah. So, well, there is reasoning behind what we're doing, yeah. I guess. And only time will tell if we've made the right decision. Yes. So, I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to stress. But it might change yet. <laughs> it still might go, change. Going by all the boats out there now. Yeah, now that is like three times as many boats as there's normally out there. Yeah, it's pretty How are you feeling, Sam? Uh, Anxious? Not really. All right, I'm coming over to you guys. How do you guys feel? Cheers. Do you feel anxious? <laughs> a little, a little. It's the first one, so. <laughs> Look how tiny he is! 
well we've left the far blue and we're now heading out to sea and we're going to go around the bottom of the island up the west coast and come into Port Louis and Port Louis is another marina but it's um, up to it it's categorized up to a cat 2 so all the islands above us have got hurricane on a hurricane watch and but we are on a tropical storm watch so if it stays like that we'll be okay hopefully um, we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed that uh, it dies down and it's not as bad as we think and we are sailing and that's the end of the island we got to go around so we're almost around the point and uh, I have to say, I am really enjoying our sail. Yeah, it's lovely. It's just nice to be out here in the water. There's no noise. Yeah. There's We're only doing four knots, but we don't care. Yeah, it's very comfortable. So, um, while my parents are getting the boat ready to be in the marina and sailing and all murdering and stuff, I'm not sure if we're going to sail or not. But while they're doing that, I'm going to be watching some TV on my iPad, which is going to be fun. Well, it's been a long time since we sailed, but I'm watching some TV on my iPad. Shout out, I love the 100s. It's awesome. Not sponsored. <laughs> um, oh, you can see. Hello. Oh, hello. I love you, Mommy. You can edit this out, but um, I love you. I really do. Boop, boop. <laughs> Please don't put that in the video. <laughs> Lineup of people coming in. In here? So I think good. we're gonna back in like we have before. And be along like here. Uh, it looks like Somni? Somni? First, we're going to take the outboard engine off the thingy. So we're sandwiched in between two really big catamarans. So it is Friday and we're in Port Louis Marina. So we just took the sail off this morning, the head sail. The main sail, we're just going to wrap um, a line around it. And um, so far the models that are coming out, some are putting the eye of the storm right over us and others are putting it slightly north of us. So I think no matter what, you know, we're, we're definitely in for a big storm, if not, you know, a hurricane. Um, I wish I could say that I feel okay um, because I vowed, you know, we left we left Charleston because I said I could never live through another hurricane and so we came here to Grenada because this is one of the safest spots and here we are, it's early in the hurricane season and there's one coming straight for us. So I just feel, you know, normal, sick, stressed, don't know what to do really, just kind of walking around in a daze in between cleaning things and getting the boat prepared so it's uh you know it doesn't get any easier the more hurricanes you live through i can say that's for sure i'm trying to just you know take deep breaths and be calm and you know at the last minute it could always change i am thinking and my heart goes out to all the people that work so hard to get to grenada for hurricane season there's tons of people that were kind of stuck in various different countries and they all worked so hard to get here because they felt that they were going to be safe uh, and they've gone through quarantine in fact some are still going through quarantine but they've been allowed to move their boat to a safe place you can tell which ones are quarantined because they have a yellow flag but these poor people some of them are brand new cruisers and they have yet to experience the cruising life because they've they've been locked down or under quarantine and now there's a, a hurricane coming so um 
Yeah, just gonna take it easy. Last night we went out with some friends uh, at the bar here. They're all like, uh, it's funny, they're all people that stayed at a specific marina in Sicily, uh, Marina di Ragusa. So we have our own little group of ex Marina di Ragusa people. <laughs> um, but funnily, they, they also were at La Far Blue where we just left. Um, so we hung out with them last night and then tonight I think we're gonna go get some local food and uh, just discuss the weather and discuss, you know, make sure we've got everybody's details. We're all in the same marina here. Uh, there's a lot of boats here, it's, it's full. So um, yeah, I guess that's how I feel now. And I'll get Simon to say something too. I mean, he's like a deer in headlights. Um, it just, you know, I feel like I have PSD or whatever that is where you you all of a sudden like your feelings and your um, emotions and everything come back to an event that happened in the past and so I'm thinking now about Irma and Matthew and there's her moine too that was that was a tropical storm but we stayed on the boat um, and that's another concern do we get off the boat so uh, yeah just like like life lately it's just all about uncertainty and you just got to keep taking a step forward so, I guess that's all I got to say now. Yeah, no worries, but you, you just you just concentrate on yourself, mate, all right? So we're bringing down the cushions and uh, anything that's outside. Yep. Yeah. So we're all working here. Heading until tomorrow. Whew, it's hot. Wow. Yes. So we're now in a different marina which can take up to a cat to hurricane. We're all prepared, we keep doing checks on seeing what's happening and the worst case scenario is happening, it's coming south. The only the good thing about it, it's it's weakening quite a lot. So we have about twenty just over about thirty hours before it comes to us, but we're looking at lots and lots of rain, wind of about 40 to 50 miles an hour, um, 40 knots. So it's not nowhere near as bad as we were expecting 24 hours, 36 hours ago. So fingers crossed, it's still it's going to keep weakening, and uh, we I think we're going to be not much of an issue here. It's just going to be a lot of wind and a lot of rain. So that's good. Yeah, I love you, Dad. Take care. All right, bye.